planned a poetry event aimed at empowering young people from the surrounding areas. This is their way of showing uh, support for the 67 Minutes Initiative. Now to elaborate more on what's going to happen today is Professor uh, Wale Sirote. So good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it's cold this morning. <laughs> <It's very> cold. <laughs> the weather is really not uh, playing its part. Let's talk about this initiative. Talk to us about what's going to happen today. Well, today um, the poets will convene at Freedom Park mm -hmm. and the poets will be reading from their works, uh, commemorating the life of uh, Utata. But also the focus will be on what is it that we should be doing to inspire young people? What is it that we should do to create a point of reference for young people to, to emulate Utata? Mm -hmm. And I think one of the key, key issues that we should be addressing is this thing about Nyaope. Mm -hmm. On one hand, what is it that we should do to prevent young people moving in that direction? Mm -hmm. But also, what is it that we should be doing so that those who are already caught up in Nyaope, we should find a, a way to heal them? Uh, you realize that I read a passage from a Long, Sto Long Walk to Freedom. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been searching for a point of reference for my writing, for my being an activist. And I think it, that, 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 that quote is very, very appropriate. It reminds us that we're in a country which has to develop. We're in a country where people are very, very poor. We're in a country where people have, um, have, are not employed. So instead of blaming government for that, the key question is, we must remember Nelson Mandela and many other people were were chief uh, volunteers when there was a need to, to change circumstances in our country. Mm. We should also do that. We should form organizations, you know, NPOs, NGOs, CBOs, and become active and see what is it that we can pick which, is which, which the government is doing positively mm -hmm. to enhance it, but also be critical of what government is doing. But we should not be critical not doing anything. Mm. Buma Diva did... I mean, untold things. Remember that he was called a Scarlet Pimpernel when he was underground for a very long time, when he initiated the defiance campaign in our country. That defiance campaign has given what we have today, you know. What is it? What, what, how, how, do we, how are we inspired by those things which he did with Oliver Tambo, which he did with mm -hmm. What is it that we should do as now activists in the 21st century? Why, in, in your opinion, is it so important for us to honor this man and what he did for this country? Well, you know, at a certain level also we must remember that Nelson Mandela is a symbol of struggle. And when we talk about him, as he always said, we must remember that there were thousands of other people like him mm. uh, who, who marched against great odds. In fact, I, there's a quote by uh, uh, Governor Mbeki where he says, all of those people who participated as volunteers in the defiance campaign had to learn that freed, for freedom at that time, you had to go to jail, you had to be tortured, you may mm. even be killed, and you had to make great sacrifices. I think we should do the same now. Uh, we cry about we are not employed, but I think we can create, as I was saying earlier on, organizations which must intervene in the little communities where we live, mm. you know. We have hands, we have brains, we have the body. We have numbers that can assist us to do that. What poem have you decided that you're going to recite today at Freedom Park? I, w I don't want to read a poem. <laughs> I was reading, uh, I'm reading a reference point to inspire me to write more poems. Okay. Yes. All right. And, you know, what for you has been the highlight of, of being part of, of this project? And what are you looking forward to the most? You know, yesterday I was listening as people from all over the country they were saying what is it that they are doing to honor Utata, to, to be active in that 67 minutes. And it was extremely inspiring. People were very entrepreneurial, they were very creative about what they were doing. Some were going to paint schools, some were going to make uh, gardens, some were going to do this or that. And it was throughout the country. But another very, very important thing, it was a non-racial reaction, response to this thing. Mm -hmm. So we should, we should uh, uh, grab that for our inspiration and say there is a spirit in our country coming from different, from our own, our diversity mm. in terms of religion, in terms of belief systems, in terms of color. But 
something is bringing us together to say we will work for this. But what I would like to add to that is that we should not wait for 67 minutes. Mm -hmm. 67 minutes must be something that primes us to be committed for the rest of our lives, mm -hmm. to create a better country for our people, to create quality of life for our people. All right. Dr. Walisi Rote, thank you so much for talking to us. Always amazing having you on the program. Um, he's one of the uh, poets uh, that's going to be part of the uh, 67 uh, poems for freedom to commemorate Nelson Mandela a day and other poets at Freedom Park. That's happening uh, today. It's, it's part of the College of Human Sciences at Tunis in collaboration with the Department of Afrikaans and Theory of Literature and Freedom Park uh, today, Saturday the 18th of uh, July. 20 poets uh, will participate in an event titled 67 Poems for Freedom. Let's take a break. Stay with us.